you scored from a variety of ways last night. How did you feel out there? I felt okay. Uh, I just feel like it was first game, so I definitely got to get used to playing against someone else. Uh, I got to get my win back. But uh, I felt good to be out there to play with, with the guys uh, last night. What about defense? How can the team improve upon that? Uh, just by continuing to play. I think uh, we watch film today and we know what we got to get better at. And of course, rebounding the basketball and then individually, individually uh, defending our guys. But uh, we know what we have to do. Yeah, fast breaks were a problem last night. They had a lot. Lakers did not. Can that be improved? Absolutely, especially when we get in game shape and we continue to play. Um, I think we can, we can definitely shut down on the defensive end. That starts our offense. What do you think of LeBron? He didn't play a lot, but he still had an impact, did he? Uh, he definitely had an impact. He gets everybody moving in the first group. Uh, he makes the right pass on the offensive end. And uh, he makes our team better. How's your eye? Uh, my eye feels fine. Uh, I just got poked in and it was uh, hurt for like five minutes. Brandon, the intensity of that game last night, did it seem like there was a little something extra in that? Absolutely. Uh, I think they're excited for what we have going on. Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting team. Everybody is working hard in here. Uh, got a good attitude. So it's going to be exciting to see what we have on the floor. What, what are some of the differences between like Rondo, LeBron, and Lonzo when they're passing the ball? Is there different adjustments you have to make for each guy? Uh, you just have to be open. Uh, they're going to make you get open. You just have to move to an open spot, and you know they're, those guys are going to find you. Looks like LeBron has a little maybe more velocity on some of those passes. Is that, is that true? Uh, just to have to be ready for them. I think uh, all those guys have the ability to make the same passes, so uh, you just always have to keep your eyes open, whether it's cutting to the basket, whether it's getting to the wing, whatever it is, you have to keep your eyes open. Rondo said that you should become one of the best defensive players in this league. Where do you see you need to work on to actually make that happen? Uh, just trying to do it consistently every day, just staying down in the stands. Uh, using my length to my advantage, uh, getting back on defense, defensive boards, blocking shots, just trying to emulate that every single night that I go on the basketball floor. How there, much do you recognize that, that by being coming a really good defender that this team can run away? It starts the offense. Uh, I think if everybody is active on defense, uh, we have a lot of length on the team, and I think just by showing our length, it gives us a presence on the basketball floor. <laughs> And we can run the floor and uh, we can get easy baskets. Is there one thing that the coaches have been drilling you on in, with, with defense? Is there one thing they keep telling you over and over? Well, we do the same thing every day, but it's the same routine. Uh, whether it's individual defense, help defense, uh, having each other's back, uh, talking vocally on defense. It's really the same drill every day, so we can have in the back of our minds uh, like to help. Sure. You feel like you and LeBron have a little chemistry? Uh, well, I think we do. Uh, of course, as we keep playing, uh, we'll find our spots on the basketball floor where we like to uh, take advantage of defenders. But I think, uh, from the standpoint, from the standpoint of him being a good, really, really good passer, I think uh, it's going to automatically quit. Is there something about you know chemistry with your new teammates that sort of comes up in a game, but maybe not in the practice on the bench? Do you notice something different? I wouldn't say it's the chemistry. I think it's how much these guys talk on the basketball floor. I think, you know, you go every single day, you see Ray John Rondo talking every day. Uh, he never stops talking. LeBron never stops talking. So I think that's where it comes from. Uh, you know exactly where you're supposed to be, and it helps out a lot. Do you feel yeah, I mean, of course you take something from it because, uh, you know, we've been working our habits uh, for the first week. Uh, so it's good to, to go against a different opponent uh, instead of each other. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be. Times where we struggle, you know, we not move the ball as we would like to, a couple breakdowns defensively. So, you know, but it's good to have those things that you can work on. You know, you have something to look forward to. Luke said he'd like part of the second you have the starters out there in the first What did you see in the first one when you went back in the We're just, you know, trying to move the ball, share the ball, get the ball from side to side, and then just uh, communicating defensively, flying around, uh, gang rebounding. So, uh, we did have uh, some offensive rebounds early on in the first quarter that uh, if we can clean those up, we can get out of transition. But our pace was good, and our space was good, too. Did you find a little rhythm right away with Brandon Ingram? Uh, I find a uh, rhythm with anybody that uh, is very energetic offensively, and that's a guy who uh, moves 
uh, without the ball. And, uh, you know, my first assist was to him. They just moving on the weak side, and I was able to deliver a pass to him. What do you think defensively you guys have to have well, Everything. Everything. You got to get better every day. Um, it was great to get back on the floor, you know, um, and then uh, just start a new journey for myself. Uh, hear the Laker fans that we have here in San Diego. It was a great feeling to go out there and hear the roar uh, from the fans here. So, uh, very much appreciated. Is that a good amount of time, playing time for you, or did you go in expecting a little bit? Uh, I played a little bit more than expected, actually, and uh, I felt pretty good. You've been in so many basketball situations in your life, but just wearing a Lakers uniform officially for the first time, did that feel different? I'm, yeah, it always feels different uh, for me. When anytime you change uniforms, it felt different uh, when I changed, uh, you know, you know, from wearing the same and same Mary jersey to a Cavs jersey, from a Cavs jersey to a Heat jersey, back to a Cavs jersey, and not being a Laker. So uh, it definitely feels different, uh, you know, and uh, it'll take a little bit of time getting used to. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's a lot of communication. I can't uh, break down everything that we talked about, but we talked about a lot. And uh, that's going to be good for our ball club. You called it Youth Academy here, but how often do you find yourself in San Diego? What have you thought of our town? Uh, I haven't found myself a lot back here, um, you know, since I've had my um, my academy uh, where I have, you know, my, my kids camp. Um, but also I did get, I got married in San Diego, you know, to my wife five years ago. So uh, it was always uh, been a great place to be a part of. Some of them did better than others, um, but we can work them. You know, we, some of the liners that we had on the floor, we haven't even practiced. You know, so um, you know, it's good to see though we can have uh, you know the ability to do that. Well, we was only we only went through one or two deep of our defensive coverages. We have a, a few in. But we want, to, we want to get very good at one thing before we start switching things up. So, And then we only have a few of our offensive sets in as well. So when you look at Denver, that continuity they've been in you know, for you know, a few years now. So uh, we're nowhere near where they are, but we want to try to continue. You were the Lakers' best offensive player tonight. You did a good job of getting to the rim. You got a lot of good passes. Why do you think the game opened up for you the way it did? Um, the passers are my teammates. Uh, that's, that's how it is. We have very unselfish teammates. So... Uh, as long as I'm running the floor and getting to the right spots, they'll find me. Michael Thompson did the game with me on the radio, and he made the comment that you are going to be the beneficiary from this fast play style that Luke has because you run so much better than other bigs. Is that something that you're conscious of and you're going to uh, try and exploit? Yeah, definitely. I, I, def I, I model my game after that. I, uh, I work out for that. I, I eat. I'm a vegan because of that. I like to stay skinny. I like to sprint. I like to, I like to run up and down the floor. So that's what I model my game after is just being able to get up and down the floor and catch lives and stay light. You have been a part of two pretty magical runs, but it was weird. That first sequence, when you guys won the opening tip, you beat everybody down the floor. Uh, LeBron got it to Rondo. Rondo got it to you. The building went nuts. What was that like for you? Um, I mean, it was, it was fun. I mean, it's basketball. Uh, me dunking the ball is what I do. So it's not really anything crazy, but that's what I do. So, yeah. What didn't you like about the way you guys played? What did you see and say, we got to work on that? Um, I mean, this is our first preseason game. This is our first game, period. All, this whole unit playing with each other. So we have to get to know each other. Ronda likes to do this. LeBron likes to do this. I have to be in this spot. So it's so much stuff that we have to work on. At first, I was like, wow, we got a lot of preseason games. But I feel like we need it. And uh, I feel like we'll be ready during the season. You obviously played with some of the greatest players in the world last couple of years at Golden State. Now you're with maybe the best in LeBron. What's that like getting to know his style, his play? How do you do it? Um, I mean, just open ears and uh, listening. Uh, I mean, it's definitely amazing for me to be able to say when I, whenever I retired, I, I played with the greatest and uh, some of the greatest teams. So it's just a blessing. And um, definitely just, just being open ears, just absorbing, being a sponge, and making sure that I'm paying attention to everything that's going on. James Worthy talks about the fact that when he played with Magic, he always had to keep his eyes on the ball or he was going to get hit in the side of the head. Is LeBron this, I mean, and Rondo the same way? Definitely. Uh, they're not afraid to pass, and they might not even be looking at you when they pass. So you just got to be ready for it.